Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Reconciling is the process of ensuring that your checking account record in QuickBooks matches the bank statement for the account. Reconciling your checking account is a very good habit because it lets you spot bank errors and avoid overdraft fees. When reconciling accounts, the goal is to make the bank statement and your account balance within QuickBooks match. While you will most commonly reconcile your checking account, you can also reconcile several different types of accounts if desired, like other asset accounts, for example. To begin reconciling an account, select Banking – Reconcile from the menu bar. In the Begin Reconciliation window, select which account you want to reconcile from the Account drop-down. Enter the Statement Date from the bank statement of the account you are reconciling with your QuickBooks account. Enter the ending balance from your bank's account statement. Then enter any service charge or interest earned shown on the bank statement but not yet recorded in QuickBooks. To record service charges, enter the amount of the service charges into the service charge field. Select the date the service charges were assessed from the adjacent date calendar selector. Then use the adjacent account dropdown to select the account used to track service charge amounts like bank service fees. If the account has gained interest, enter the amount of interest earned as shown on the bank statement into the interest earned field. As with service charges, enter the date the interest was earned into the date field and select the income account used to track interest income from the adjacent account dropdown. In QuickBooks, you have a Locate Discrepancies button you can click to launch the Locate Discrepancies dialog box. Here you can click the Discrepancy Report button to view a report that shows any changes to previously cleared transactions from prior account reconciliations. This can be a useful tool for locating data entry errors that cause reconciliation problems. You can also click the Previous Reports button to select a type of reconciliation report to run. The report will show the transactions marked as cleared from your last account reconciliation. Also notice the Undo Last Reconciliation button shown at the bottom of the Locate Discrepancies and Begin Reconciliation windows. If you click this button, it will undo the last account reconciliation for the selected account. This is an extreme move, and doing it will completely unreconcile the last account reconciliation performed on the selected account. If you are still viewing the Locate Discrepancies window, you can return to the Begin Reconciliation screen by clicking the Restart Reconciliation button. In the Begin Reconciliation window, click the Continue button to view the Reconcile window. In the Reconcile window, place check marks next to the appropriate withdrawals and deposits within this screen that also appear within the bank statement to mark them as cleared. As you do this, the difference shown in the lower right corner of the screen will slowly approach zero. If you try to reconcile the account and the difference amount shown is not zero, you may have to enter an adjustment transaction that modifies the QuickBooks account balance so it will agree with the bank statement. You will still have to account for the difference later though, so a better idea is to instead try and find the discrepancy between the check register and the banking statement and correct it. If needed, you can exit a reconciliation by clicking the Leave button at the bottom of the Reconcile window. This will not affect the checks and deposits you marked as cleared. You can return later by choosing Banking – Reconcile from the menu bar. However, you will need to re-enter the information in the Begin Reconciliation screen again and click the Continue button to return to the Reconcile window. When you are done in the Reconcile window and the difference displayed is zero, click the Reconcile Now button to finish the reconciliation. At this point, a dialog box appears which lets you print a reconciliation report if you would like one. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.